Hello everyone and welcome to the new Team Ultimate Campaign 2023. This is Quarantine Zone. As you can see, the change is already apparent. We have two more spectres and far more elites to marry. This first section of the mission is probably one of the most epic battles in Halo 2, so we wanted to do it justice by adding more allies. So if we come to the bottom of the ramp here, um, the spectres should follow. That's one, and that's two. That's good. So, the forces here really don't stand a chance against the combined firepower of three spectres. Um, but things do get more difficult later on, as you'll see. Force down. So you can use this area here as cover and take this rock water. is destroyed. Uh, there's a scorpion up here which you may re remember from uh, the original version of this level is an absolute killer. And for some reason you lose points for destroying the scorpion which um, I have not actually been able to rectify. I'm not sure why that is. I, won't, I often wonder, is that the case in the original level? But as you can see here, there's allied marines, uh, enemy marines, sorry, not allied marines, um, for you to fight. Uh, that's the first appearance of them uh, in this mission, but they do show up again later on. See, with extra spectres, this part does become a lot more epic with the kind of convoy going on here. You can also uh, lose one or two and it doesn't make that much of a difference because you can still have a full squad, which is nice. One enforcer down. Looks like one of our spectres has been flipped. 
both spectres have been flipped actually. Wonder what he's up to. So we still have a reasonable number of allies here. We have two on that spectre. These ones don't seem to want to get into this spectre. There we go. Actually, just for the sake of taking on the Wraith here, I might... There we go. Give him the rocket launcher. Come on, climb in. Oh, come on, climb in. You know you want to. There we go. Halo 2 AI can sometimes be quite temperamental. <laughs> you just have to learn how to handle them, really. Aha! Oh! Well, that'll be the rocket flood. Unfortunate. Well, at least I can... Enforcer down, two enforcers down, excellent. Both our spectres unflipped, which is nice. Okay, let's deal with that flood first. Where is he? Oh, boarding it was probably not the right idea. Unfortunately, I think we lost a spectre there, which is a bit sad. Let's see if we can take out this rocket flood. Apparently not. Indeed. Oh, come on. Blimey. Ah, the eliminator beams. They're awful. This mission is a bit of a bitch on heroic, has to be said. I hate to play it on legendary. I don't actually remember um, completing Halo 2 on legendary. I know I've done it because it's on my uh, complete profile, but it must have been a long time ago.
My goodness, it's impossible to get a kill on this guy. There we go, finally. I don't know, get out of the driver's seat. That's my Spectre. Hopefully we can finally start making some progress. There we go, at last. So now we reach uh, the next section of the mission, finally. This, uh, for those of you who aren't aware, is actually the crashed Sentinel production facility that we saw go down near the end of the last mission, uh, which I think is quite cool. On you. Shooting rockets at the center. It's not gonna help. Also interesting about this game is the enforcers are classed as vehicles. So in theory, I could make a mod where you can drive an enforcer, though I've no idea how that would actually work. Just one we had one more spectre. May have met a grisly fate, but let's go and see. Oh, oh, okay, they are actually following. That's convenient. see what we have here. Something else that's quite interesting to note is that on this mission as well as the other ones um, have the Wraith. The auto turrets do now work for the player on all of the missions. I mentioned on a previous video that I intended to um, create some kind of update uh, to make it so that they worked for the player on all the missions and I've now done that so they will work. Okay. So we have far, far more elites here than uh, you would have in the original mission. Uh, let's see, we all follow them. Yeah, if you do a bit of back and forth, you should all follow. Now the Needler Sentinel is somewhere here. I have I've kept him the same, I haven't got rid of him.
There he goes. There's the needler, Sentinel's needler. It's another great thing about having ultra elites as your allies is they go absolutely mental and pull out an energy sword if they get angry. Like almost everyone has survived. In fact, yep. I don't think we had a single casualty there, which is convenient. Well, that may be about to change in this next section. Look at that. Plenty of elite cell. Now some more flood spawn here. give almost all of your elites energy swords here which makes them much better at taking on the flood. I'm going to try and take this wraith. There we go. So you can see the auto turrets working for me there. Now Another interesting change um, that I've made here is a change to how uh, the shipmaster spawns uh, on his um, in his phantom here because usually he's dropped by the phantom uh, along with another elite and mans the gun of the spectre but I've changed it so that he just spawns with the spectre and instead two other elites spawn to help. So now you can have a fully manned spectre, even if all the others, uh, 
all your other elites are dead. There's some more marines there in that water. Oh dear. Seems like he might have accidentally killed an elite with that rocket. Direct hit right up the backside. So, oh dear. Oh, it's taking me back a fair way. Oh, see, so I've got a slightly different arrangement of elites than I did last time. Um, which, again, it is, it's not, again, not necessarily randomly selected, um, but it is, it does give the illusion of being random. Oh, blimey, that girl song has some thump to it. Again, Minus points for destroying UNSC vehicles. I'm not sure why that is the case. Perhaps that's something I need to look into in a future update. What is going on here? Oh, it's a rocket flood. Oh dear. At least I wasn't taken back uh, all the way to the end of the uh, last section this time. I might just make a break for the door, see if that helps. There we go. So something strange happens here in this part of the mission. If you, if you go to this area here and then head back, all of the elites that were spawned um, throughout the mission will sort of teleport here. I think you have to, you have to cross the threshold of this and then head backwards. Okay, there's one. The rest will just be stood here, which is quite interesting. Um, and this one, now that is quite interesting. He is the pilot of the Phantom who drops off the Spectre. Uh, and I've made it here fast enough that he's actually teleported here, but he has no weapon, as you can see. Quite unfortunate for him. Now one last change that I've made is there are far more elites here as you can see and also um, some of them dual wield. Uh, not only that, uh, but they dual wield a variety of weapons. Uh, we have dual wielding needlers, carbine guy there, energy sword guys. 
Nah, nah. Be harsh to give her. You can keep the sniper rifle until this ranged part is over, and I'll give give me sword back. better weapon. Oh dear. Well, SMG is better than a sniper rifle with no ammo. It is more fun having more elites in this section. Oh, here come the more flood. Blimey. It is interesting that the Halo 2 shotgun is far more effective in the hands of the flood than anyone else. isn't going to appreciate using that sniper rifle the whole time. Rest in peace. I love how Tartarus, even before the betrayal, he gets no respect. Yep, that's a valid assessment, I would say. I wonder. You might be better with that than. Aha! Uh, just doesn't feel right giving elites human weapons. Uh, for, you know, the schism. You can tell what direction the gondola is going in based on the trail of the grenades. Wonder how many elites will make it through. You seem to be doing an alright job. Nice line there, swords down at the bottom, ranged guys up here. Blimey! 
Jeez, those shotgun floods are killers. It's bizarre, they can, they can, in the hands of a flood combat form, the Halo 2 shotgun can kill an ultra elite in one hit. But in the hands of the player, it can't even kill a flood combat form in one hit. How is that fair? I mean, even on Heroic, that's, that's a bit ridiculous. I could understand Legendary, because Halo 2's Legendary is just notoriously unfair. <laughs> Blimey, all the way back here. Looks like we're in for the long haul this time. I mean, they're all over the place. I'm sure you will watch the perimeter Tartus, you traitor. Nope, spoilers. Should be the last of them now, hopefully. Surely. Well, I guess not. So with a bit of effort, you can save the majority of your elites. Um, imagine if I hadn't have been taking an active role in helping, more of them would have been killed. Because those shotgun floods do seem to wipe them out, especially because obviously the energy sword elites go in close, leaving them very vulnerable to a blast from the uh, unfair shotgun. There we go. We made it. Well, this mission is just about wrapped up. Um, I did want to try and add a few more human enemies to this section, um, maybe placing some of the infection forms, but all the uh, tests that I did, um, they were kind of unresponsive and were more interested in running over to that corner than actually fighting you, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, if you want to download this mod, the link will be in the description. And um, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, which will be the walkthrough of Gravemine, which should be entertaining. So, see you next time.